We are finally arriving back in the mountains. We are in a national park and it's only allowed to pitch up a tent between 8 and 8 and uh, above 2000 meters altitude. So we are looking for a place, I think anywhere up there close to the tree line. This should be absolutely okay. Tonight we will sleep between horses. Up there you can see some fresh snow from the rain last night. It was really cold. Just had an awesome night here in the free cabin in the Fukio de Sartani, right in the beginning of Andorra. This one is really for free. It's uh, in the bottom of the real refugio up there with the guest rooms. And you have fresh water here, electricity, light, and nice beds. We really enjoyed it. Now we start very early. See, it's still dark outside. <laughs> yeah, let's go back to the trail. And this is a really good start in Andorra, I think. Crashing scars and bruises I don't think that I can do this I don't think that I can do this When these waves come crashing down slept last night and there was a mammoth coming at I think half past one which really just took my backpack and carried it two meters from the tent from there to there afterwards sleeping was impossible but what an amazing place For answers, I ain't finding loads With me and you, you know I gave it all my life and soul We drifted off and still it's left me with these giant holes Nothing to fill the gap and all I feel is highs and lows I pour a drink and sit and wonder why we rivaled lows See, I was man enough to leave, you gave the final blows There's many fish out in the sea, I guess what I suppose I think it's time I let, let it go Let these waves come crashing down Yeah, today we finally left Andorra and we are in, back in France. We uh, reached a little 
village here in the mountains. I don't even know the name to be honest. <laughs> it's difficult to spell for me. And fun and interesting fact is that French people do not only have nuclear power plants. As you can see, there's some water energy generated here, which is really cool. It's coming from both sides of the mountains and down there is the transformation house. Nice. Let's go to the supermarket and catch some good food, some cold beers, and then we will go to a camping site down there and chill the rest of the day. Yeah, it's around 1 p.m. and uh, we reach the village. We will have a half rest day here. And we're really desperate for that because we did like 10,000 meters of elevation change in the last seven days. Plus, I don't know how many kilometers, maybe 150 or 200. So our legs really need a little break. And then we are re really looking forward for the next two days. I think we go up that mountain over there, if you see it. And after there is another one, which is close to 3,000. We will climb there tomorrow, I think. We will start very early. Wow, just look at this amazing scenery. Absolutely crazy. Over there is the Peak Khalid. This is the mountain we want to climb today. I think it's the four to five hours to the summit. We have 12 now. Absolutely looking forward for this. The weather is amazing. We have zero clouds, zero percent rain. So perfect conditions for such an adventure. Over there is the Mediterranean Sea. I think it's impossible to see it right now, especially in the camera. But it's not that far anymore, maybe 200 kilometers, 150, something about that.
Today we do some night hiking to reach an awesome cabin directly on a pass. It's pretty awesome with this uh, full moon up there. We still have a lot of light to tilt. Yeah, we already uh, quit quite early yesterday, I think at half past three, because it was too late for us to climb Kanigu. And yeah, we decided to stay here at this mountain lake to go swimming a bit. This was really necessary after all the hot days to the sun, and I think it's one of the last mountain lakes for us. And yeah, we are looking forward to the Mediterranean Sea. It's uh, also a bit strange feeling that this trip is gonna end soon after all these beautiful mountain sides here and this kilometers to the stones and the alpine scenery. Um, yeah, what an amazing experience, That's everything I can say. I can highly recommend this to everybody, um, especially the way we did it. I don't know if I ever told, but we decided at, uh, I think, seven days ago to switch to the HRP because the GA11 is going down pretty much and the HRP is going to the mountains a lot longer so we will go to the end of the HRP now and from there we will take a coast trail to merge back to the GA11 and then we will hike the GA11 to the end to the Cap de Grois. This is the very last part of the ascent to Kanigu, which is the steepest, as you can see. And yeah, we read that it was built with dynamite in the, the end of the 19th century to make this side of the mountain more accessible to a wider range of people. I think before it was probably only possible by climbing. Yeah, and up there, I think 50 meters away is the summit.
here are looking for every shadow that they can find. <laughs> Every shadow place is full of sheep. Yesterday we were lucky to find this nice cabin here, which is uh, really clean, opposite to the other we slept the last time. It was cool because it's very wet outside, complete cloudy and, and the night when I had to go out I was standing close to a wild boar, so <laughs> uh, you won't camp here I think. Not too nice. And a lot of cows around too, of course. <laughs> 